Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching my videos and all those sort of things. I really appreciate it and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you may be in the world today. Uh, so, uh, in my continuing quest to expand my creative horizons and stretch myself and learn new products, as well as to continue bringing you guys helpful and informative videos that are educational and hopefully inspiring, um, I'm doing more videos about Topaz Studio. So I did one recently and I'll put the link up here. Hey, I got that right, left corner. Um, left corner for me, right corner for you. Now I'm confusing myself. Anyway, um, I'll, uh, I did, I'll put that link up there, but uh, my point is I did that video and a number of people were like, hey Jim, I really like Topaz Studio, I've been using it. I'm glad to see you're doing these kind of things. Um, and some people said uh, very, uh, very specifically, hey, will you go talk about AI Clear, which is a, a pro filter within Topaz Studio? And so the answer is yes, I will talk about it. And I'm talking about it right now. Um, so let's just hop into Studio. And boom, here we are. Now, uh, first thing I want to talk about is the fact, I'm going to actually close the histogram. It's a little bit distracting to me. Uh, I like to have a full filter panel. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh, well, two things really. Topaz Studio is a free download. You can get it at the link below. With the free download, if you click on adjustments here, you get these 10 adjustments. So basically at the top from basic adjustment until it gets to vignette. Everything above this little gray line is free. So download to Topaz Studio at the link below comes with those 10 filters, no charge. Um, now, the way Topaz makes money is they're hoping that you'll like it enough that you'll start buying these pro filters. So everything below the gray line are their pro adjustments or pro filters. So that's abstraction, AI clear, which we're talking about today, blah, 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 all the way down to texture. So we are talking about AI clear and to be clear, um, it does sell on their website for $59.99. So let's call it 60 bucks American. Um, and you might think, oh gosh, that's kind of expensive for a filter. Um, and maybe it is, but I think you actually get what you pay for. It's very powerful. And if it's not clear yet, AI stands for artificial intelligence. Clear is about uh, clearing up your photo of noise. So it is an AI powered um, photo, uh, AI powered noise removal or noise reduction filter. And it's super cool. It works really well. And I'm gonna show you two example photo photos today. By the way, if you're in studio and want to buy any of those pro adjustments, you can just click there where it says shop pro adjustments, right? So let's hop in. This is a photo I took recently in New York inside Chelsea Market. And uh, actually in this case, it's not a noisy photo. Uh, I was shooting handheld with my Sony at ISO 1000. However, it's not really noisy. Uh, what I want to do here is demonstrate the detail recovery and the clarity and how that works. And the second photo I'm going to edit will be all about the noise reduction. And that's one of the things I really like about AI Clear is that it does a great job of helping you recover detail and adding clarity back um, even after reducing noise. So if you've used noise reduction in other products, you probably know that what it does, it basically smears detail. Uh, it sort of smudges it out to, to remove any kind of noisiness. Um, and that, that works fine, uh, but sometimes it'll overdo it, right? So you find yourself having to mask things. Uh, whereas in this case, uh, it's intelligent and it applies it around the photo and it sort of figures it out. What they did is they took a million photos or more and they built this neural network and it basically analyzed all these photos and figured out, you know, where noise needs to be removed and near, you know, where it needs to be removed, but also preserve detail and that sort of thing. So I'm no scientist. I'm not a software developer. Um, somehow they figured this out and it seems to work really well. So first photo, let me hit AI clear. Um, we're going to delve into the detail component of it because I think the results you can get out of that um, are pretty impressive considering that it's a noise reduction filter, which, as I said, are historically designed to like smear detail and smudge it out and just kind of blur it. Um, I'm actually going to create a very crisp, sharp looking photo. So um, here's the first application of it. So here's what happened. Let me show you original. I don't know how we can tell. It's slightly sharper. Uh, you probably can't tell in the video, but I'm not done. Um, what it does, it'll zoom in because it'll normally say, all right, let me show you what kind of noise I'm removing. So it zooms in and then you come over here. It goes into auto, right? You've got low, medium, and high, which I'm not going to get to in this photo. And you've got enhanced sharpness. It's on low. I can hit high. We'll take a look. Now the blue line going across will give you an indication of um, a progress, right? So I'll just keep talking while we're waiting on that blue line to finish. Um, and then you've also got this recover detail slider as well as exposure and clarity slider. So they allow you to come in and sort of enhance that. Now, I don't see a huge difference there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this recover detail slider 
and I'm gonna drag that to the right, and I'm gonna take clarity, and I'm gonna drag that, and look at the photo. I mean, look how crisp and sharp that is. And keep in mind, this, fo uh, this filter is about noise reduction, which is historically erasing or smoothing out details. You can see how beautiful uh, and sharp that photo is. So take a look at that. That's a photo that I consider basically fully edited. There's not a lot more, if anything, that I would want to do to this photo. Let me show you the original. Kind of flat, lacking contrast, not very crisp or detail-oriented, not a lot of clarity, not a lot of sharpness, those kind of things. And all I did is add AI clear, and I've got that. Impacted the color, it impacted the contrast, the clarity, it appears to be sharper. Not to mention the fact that noise, if there's been any in the photo, which this kind of photo, very difficult to notice noise unless it's incredibly prevalent, which it's not. Um, but it's removed uh, noise as well. So I like that a lot about this filter that you can, I mean, it's one filter and it's a noise reduction filter and I feel like I've applied that and uh, I feel like I'm done with my photo. Like that's a edit that I would be happy to call complete. And if you wanted to, of course, you can bump these sliders up and do more to make it a little bit crunchier, which I like to do. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to point that out about AI Clear. So let me jump in to a, another photo uh, that's gonna be all about noise reduction. So. You've got this little tray down here, kind of a folder, kind of a dock, whatever you want to call it, where you can stick multiple photos and then work with them in uh, Topaz Studio. So this is my second photo. Now, if you look at that, and I'll zoom in just so you can see, I mean, that's just a noisy mess. And part of the reason it's a noisy mess, uh, it's a number of reasons. Number one, the camera I shot it with is a small point and shoot with a small sensor. Um, I shot it at ISO 1600. So ISO 1600 on a small sensor, that's a recipe for noise. Um, and I shot in low light. Y you can't really get worse conditions for, for trying to get a sharp photo. Uh, oh, and it was handheld. Um, so, I mean, it's just my little point and shoot that I carry around and sometimes use if I'm on the go or out to dinner with the family and don't want to lug all my gear. I might bring that in case something catches my eye. Uh, and this caught my eye, this is in Berlin. Um, anyway, so the photo's noisy, right? So we're gonna go get AI clear and we're gonna jack this thing up. So. Um, give that a moment, it starts correcting image. Again, it's running it through its paces and saying, all right, I think noise is here and I think noise is there and I need to remove it here and that sort of thing. And look at that, I mean, golly, let me zoom in. Look at that, I'm gonna do original. Look at how grainy that is, including on top of the building. So like on top of this, uh, I forgot what the tower is named. Um, you know, on the building here, you can see all this noise. On the building here where it says Galleria. Look at that and all the noise and now, Look at it here. I mean, it's crisp. Look at it. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, so that's how AI Clear works. I think it works incredibly well. That's auto. So you could maybe come over here if you wanted to experiment and say, well, hey, maybe I want to try medium. Uh, see how that goes. Maybe I want to try high. Um, and, you know, if it's particularly noisy, you can try high. Um, and then here's the other thing is you have this opacity slider. So if it gets um, really too smooth at high, you could maybe uh, do some... This is where I get into, you get into what I call the delicate dance, right? You want to recover detail, but you want to keep things smooth. And so you can reduce the opacity with that slider. You can start uh, adding recover detail, but as you do that, you're going to pull a little bit of noise back into the photo, right? So I'm going to leave that, um, you know, pretty low. In fact, I'll just leave that at zero for now. Um, perhaps you can change opacity a little bit. The point is you can experiment and find what you want, but really what I wanted to point out is I mean, just look at how clear that is. There's the original noisy, messy kind of photo, and there it is. And I think, honestly, the buildings look sharper and cleaner. And notice I've got no detail recovery, uh, and I haven't done anything with clarity. So let me bump a little clarity, which may contribute a little bit to graininess in the sky, because clarity, it basically increases edge contrast on the, on the pixels, right? And so there are pixels in the sky, so it's gonna pick up a little bit of that. But, um, you know, I've added a little bit of clarity back. Um, let me compare that to the original. There's the before, there's the after. I mean, I just think it looks great. I'm gonna hit fit to get it back. Now, I'm not finished editing the photo. This is not an editing tutorial. This is just Jim using AI Clear. And let me tell you, I'm loving that. I think it looks awesome. That is what I call a happy Jim. Very cool. So that's how it works. Super powerful, super intelligent, super easy to use and very flexible, and it works on a lot of different kind of photos. You saw the first photo where I didn't even really need the noise reduction. I used it to increase the sharpness, clarity, and sort of the depth of the photo. 
uh, and I think did, it did an incredible job. And of course, in this photo, I used it to remove all that ugly, nasty noise uh, that came from all the limitations of both my environment and the camera I was using. It overcame those beautifully, and I now have a gorgeous photo. And so, uh, in terms of workflow steps, I would, on a really noisy photo, I would use this step first, and then I would go add other filters and go from there. And keep in mind with Topaz Studio, you can custom mask each filter. So if you apply a filter and then it adds some noise into the photo, like in the sky here, you can just mask that filter into like the buildings and the street. So if you wanted to crank up some sharpness on the street or something like that, you can do that without impacting the sky. I'll have more workflow videos around Topaz Studio in the future, and I'm sure AI Clear will be a component of that workflow. But I wanted to give you a high level about it and uh, kind of go from there. So. I hope that that helps. I think the photo looks gorgeous, uh, even with all the noise that was in it. I think it's beautiful now, and that's all down to the intelligence around AI Clear. So that's it for this, my friends. I appreciate you watching. I'll have more videos about Topaz Studio. Hit the like button, hit the little bell to stay notified of future videos, and feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Oh, and please share with your friends, your family, your mom, your workmates, whatever. I'm just kidding, but uh, sharing is caring, so I appreciate it very much. And that's it. I'm going to quit talking with my hands. Actually, I'm not because I just do that. Um, but I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take care, my friends. See you later and adios.